Picture this, a litter of puppies, their tails wagging wildly. But have you ever wondered why dogs wag their tails? We often associate a wagging tail with a happy dog, but it's not always as simple as that. A wagging tail can convey a myriad of emotions and intentions. It's a dog's way of communicating not only with us humans but also with their fellow four-legged friends. They use it to express everything from joy and excitement to fear and anxiety. Yes, you heard it right. The wag of a tail is like a secret language, a Morse code that dogs use to communicate their feelings and intentions. And it's not just about how vigorously they're wagging it, but also the position and direction of the wag. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of canine communication. The wag of a tail can speak volumes, and it's all about position and movement, just like a well-composed symphony. Each wag, each twitch, and each flicker has a unique note to play in the grand orchestra of canine communication. Let's start with high tail wags. Have you ever seen your furry friend's tail wagging high in the air when you get home? That's their way of expressing excitement, greeting, and playfulness. It's as if they're saying, hey, I missed you, or let's have some fun. But what about low tail wags? Well, these are a little different. When a dog's tail is wagging low, it could be a sign of submission, anxiety, or even fear. It's their subtle way of communicating unease or saying, I'm not a threat. And then there are stiff tail wags. This is your dog's way of showing focus, alertness, and curiosity. Whether they're eyeing a squirrel in the park or sniffing out a new toy, a stiff wag can indicate that their attention is fully engaged. Now, let's talk about wag direction. Recent research suggests that the direction of a wag can also reveal a lot about a dog's emotional state. A right-sided wag is generally associated with relaxed, positive emotions. Think of it as your dog's version of a contented smile. On the other hand, a left-sided wag could indicate arousal, stress, or uncertainty. It's like their way of saying something's not quite right here. And of course, we can't overlook the influence of individual factors like breed, personality, and quirks. Some breeds are naturally more waggy than others. And just like humans, every dog has its unique personality that influences how they wag their tails. So as you see, tail wagging is a complex language of its own. It's a fascinating world of signals and messages, all told through the wag of a tail. And the more we understand this language, the closer we can get to our canine companions. But there is more to tail wagging than just happiness. In the beautiful world of dogs, tail wagging during walks can be a complex language of its own. It's not always a sign of joy or excitement. Indeed, it can be a signal that your dog is pulling or feeling stressed. They're trying to tell you something. So, the next time you're out on a walk, take a moment to observe your dog's tail. What story does it tell? Now let's talk about wagging with flattened ears. It's a fascinating sight. You might think your furry friend is just being cute, but there's more to it. This particular combo of tail wagging and ear flattening is often a sign of submission or appeasement. Your dog is trying to communicate its respect or perhaps its desire for peace. It's a bit like saying, hey, I come in peace. Then there are those rapid wags paired with narrowed eyes. It's a sight that might seem playful at first glance, but it can indicate potential aggression. Your dog may be showing signs of frustration or unease. It's their way of saying, I'm not comfortable with this situation. But not all wags are so outwardly expressive. There's something called silent wagging, where dogs express their excitement internally. It's like they have a secret joy that they're keeping all to themselves. It's a subtle wag, one that requires a keen eye to spot. Lastly, we have tail quivers. These can indicate anticipation or excitement. It's like your dog is so thrilled they can hardly contain their joy. Their tail just shivers with glee. It's a heartwarming sight, one that can brighten even the gloomiest of days. So you see, tail wagging is a language of its own. It's a dance of emotions, a ballet of feelings. Each wag, each movement has a meaning. It's a way for our canine companions to express their thoughts and feelings, to communicate with us in their own special way. Each wag, each wiggle tells a story. Understanding your dog is all about context. Yes, the tail holds secrets, but it's not the only key to unlock your furry friend's feelings. It's a piece of the puzzle, dancing in rhythm with the rest of your dog's body language. Imagine for a moment your dog's tail is a weather vane. It shows you the direction of their emotional wind, but to truly understand the climate of their mind, you must consider the whole weather system. It's the twitch of their ears, the shine in their eyes, the panting of their breath, even the wetness of their nose that adds depth to their tail's tail. Let's say your dog's tail is wagging to the right, a sign of positive emotions, but their ears are pinned back. 
and they're panting heavily. This could indicate they're feeling a bit overwhelmed with joy, perhaps after playing fetch for a bit too long. Or maybe your dog's tail is low, a sign of anxiety, but their tongue is lolling out in that goofy grin they wear when they're relaxed. This could mean they're a bit nervous about a new environment, but they trust you to keep them safe. And what about communication? You've learned to read your dog's tail language, but how do you wag back? It's all about your body language and tone. A calm, relaxed posture and a soothing voice can reassure an anxious dog, while an enthusiastic tone and playful gestures can bring out the joy in a playful pup. But remember, every dog is different. Some dogs are naturally more expressive with their tails, wagging them like flags in a parade, while others might be more reserved, their tails a subtle barometer of their feelings. And that's okay. Just as we humans express ourselves in our own unique ways, so do our dogs. So keep an eye on that wagging tail, but don't let it distract you from the rest of the story. Pay attention to your dog's body as a whole, consider the environment around them, and always remember the bond you share. Remember, every dog is unique and so is their tail language. So from excitement to submission, from alertness to stress, a dog's tail can express a myriad of emotions. We've taken a journey through the world of wagging tails, and along the way we've discovered that these seemingly simple swishes are anything but. We've learned that a dog's tail is a robust communication tool, expressing everything from joy and playfulness to anxiety and fear. Let's recap. High wags are often signs of excitement or greeting, while low wags can signify submission or unease. A stiff, wagging tail? That's your dog's way of saying they're alert and curious. And did you know that the direction of the wag holds meaning too? A wag to the right is typically associated with positive emotions, while a wag to the left might mean your pooch is feeling stressed or uncertain. But it doesn't stop there. The world of tail wags goes beyond simple happiness. Dogs use their tails to express a whole range of emotions and intentions. Tail wagging during walks can indicate pulling or stress. Wagging with flattened ears can be a sign of submission. And rapid wags with narrowed eyes may signal potential aggression. And let's not forget the silent waggers or the tail quivers, each with their unique meanings. And remember, context is king. To truly understand what your dog is saying, you need to consider their body language, the environment, and your relationship with them. And just as our dogs communicate with us, we can wag back through our body language and tone. Some dogs are naturally less waggy than others, and that's okay. What matters is that we take the time to understand and respect our dog's unique ways of expressing themselves. So, as we wrap up, I encourage you to observe your own dog, watch their tail, their body language, their eyes, listen to their vocalizations, and as you do, you'll start to decode their language, building a stronger, deeper connection with your furry friend. So the next time you see a wagging tail, remember, it's more than just a wag, it's a conversation, and what a beautiful conversation it is.